Kedarnath, the epicenter of the devastation. It had been seven days since the floods ravaged several parts of Uttarakhand. It was time for the army to step up its efforts. It was time for a bigger game plan. Following two days of uninterrupted humanitarian assistance, the army now put in place and began execution of Operation Surya Hope. The aim of the mission, providing humanitarian assistance and logistic needs in Badrinath, Hemkund and Kedarnath regions. The weather was quite margin, marginal, but despite that, we were able to pull out uh, 1,341 people uh, from various sectors. Badrinath, which is, a, which is a key focus area, we could only pull out 350 because the weather never improved. It just gave a one-hour opportunity and we made use of that. And as far as uh, the Harsil sector goes, that's almost emptied out. There are only about 600 people. But that should finish uh, today. Today, in this, this morning, weather was good here, so our aircrafts have got launched from here. Harsil sector operations are going full bow because weather is clear there and we want to make the maximum use of the opportunity. It may not have been the most foolproof plan, but it was this operation right in the first leg of the mission that gave thousands of pilgrims the hope of survival. Just about 81 kilometers from Kedarnath in Rudraprayag, another big mission was unfolding. Operation Ganga Prahar was in full swing. More than 5,000 army men fanned out across several districts, providing relief to the stranded population affected by the unprecedented floods. The Indian Army's Operation Ganga Prahar was launched immediately after thousands of people got stranded after the flash floods on 16th of June in the upper reaches of Uttarakhand. It was thanks to these ALH and different helicopters of the Indian Army, even the ground staff of the Indian Army, which tried its best to connect roads, to connect bridges from the Bhagirathi River, where hundreds of people were stranded. As the army and air force were pulling out all stops to get the victims out of the flood-hit areas, there was another slightly lesser-known force that was braving multiple challenges on the ground. The Indo-Tibetan border force, their teams, the best trained for mountain rescue. Uh, in all the valleys because uh, we are located in all these valleys so since we were the first responders and uh, we started the operation and we are still on but right now uh, since most of the work has been done in Kedarnath Valley as well as in uh, the um, Gangotri Valley so what as and the Haimkund Valley so what remains basically left is the Badrinath Valley in Badrinath people are safe their first mission evacuating pilgrims from the Kedarnath temple Rescue work is going on. Today, luckily, the weather is better than yesterday, although it is not uh, totally clear. But uh, air rescue operations from Badrinath as well as Harshil are going on. And Badrinath, we are trying to move more than 500 people on road to Hanuman Chetty and then we'll make them cross on foot and then again in vehicles to Joshimat. So we hope that a substantial number of people will be evacuated. In Kedarnath, the ITBP team traveled on foot to reach Sonprayag. They were the first to reach the area, providing food, medical help and assistance to the stranded victims. Carrying relief work at an altitude of more than 10,000 feet in the cold and difficult climatic conditions of Kedarnath. And even now, after bringing back thousands to safer areas, they are executing search operations. Well, the kind of mass and unprecedented devastation which the state of Uttarakhand has seen has left many cities 
and tens and thousands of people stranded in the most treacherous of locations. It was a joint operation of the Indian Army, the Air Force, the ITBP and the NDRF which brought most of these tens and thousands of people out from these difficult locations. Whomsoever you may talk to, the people who were stranded have been rescued, say that they owe their lives to the armed forces. The armed forces have gone down into the most treacherous of locations, in the most difficult weather, in clouds and in fogs, to bring out the people who have been stranded from Kedarnath to Uttarkashi. To say that, had these men not jumped into the fray, the tragedy would have assumed worse proportions is not wrong. Men putting duty before self. Undeterred by the treacherous terrain, unmoved by rough weather. Men going much beyond their call of duty. The real saviors, the real heroes.